and right. You know, so if you're charged, if you're charged and convicted, so to speak, of a felony violation, all it means to you as a corporation is money. And it's so interesting right. that in the same year that the U.S. Supreme Court decided that corporations have the same free speech rights as an individual, I think that would make sense. If you want the same rights as an individual, then you risk the same consequences when you screw up as a corporation. Absolutely. Look, we put a football player a few years ago in jail for killing dogs, right? Yeah, Michael Vick, sure. Right, okay. We've got manatees, we've got dolphins, we've got millions and millions of birds and... Um, I mean, the, uh, the brown pelican and so many more. You name mm-hmm. it, seafood, all of them being killed. Yet, that CEO of BP who made all these decisions, he's strutting around on the beaches in, in, uh, uh, in Grand Isle like he owns the place. You understand? Why? Uh, I totally understand. I mean, the law is not punitive. We put Michael Vick in jail for killing dogs. Yet, I ain't trying to bring the Michael Vick thing up again. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's fine. That was solved in court. I'm just saying, why can that guy strut around like he's doing us a favor? You understand what I'm saying? Sure. Well, you know, it's interesting. I don't no know. Punitive. It has no punitive liability for all the animals they go to kill. And by their own admission, they uh, put equipment that they had no idea whether it was going to work or not. They put equipment in place that they didn't know it could work. They made decisions. They admit now that they knew put people at risk and put that rig at risk. Right. And it was just a pattern over the life of that rig. Right. So we need to have a punitive law passed immediately. Because the law we got now does not measure up to the crime that's being committed by the BP oil spill. And do you have uh, any support for that? Have you talked with maybe Representative Scalise, who's supposed to be on my program tomorrow? I have not talked to him about that specifically, but do you do? Do you have some congressional support, in General, on that? No, I, I speak through the press to the public, and uh, the politicians ought to get a hold of me if they want to talk. I'll share the idea with them. But I'm telling you, until we make this punitive, that we're going to seize your assets, if you're going to pay $100 million a day, then we're going to take that money, the American government, we're going to put it in a fund, and we're going to make sure the fishermen get paid, we're going to make sure we can protect our barrier islands and coastlands, and we're going to make sure that we clean all this all up, uh, uh, and we'll keep doing that until we uh, get all the money we need from you to get it done. Because it's the American government that's going to take care of our people, not some arrogant BP uh, uh, adjuster who's going to go down and say whether we uh, get compensation. I tell you, this thing will end up in class action lawsuits that it'll take a generation to resolve. And that's what they want. They want people to get mad and sue vice, uh, the government taking the money from them and giving it directly to the people, like we do after a hurricane or something. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, the Exxon Valdez is a perfect example. Fifteen years after a jury awarded uh, $5 billion via a class action lawsuit after going to the U.S. Supreme Court, 15 years later, uh, that case is watered down and watered down and watered down from the original $5 billion to $500 million. And, you know, it cost about $2 billion alone and interest on that $5 billion during that 15-year pa- span. So, Got yeah, it. it's it's a calculated effort on BP's part, and y- you're right, they will probably, just like Exxon Valdez, they will do everything and everything they can uh, to delay this and delay this and keep their money in their pockets. But I'm telling you, BP, I read in several sources that they make $69 billion a day. You understand? That's what their profit is a day. Yeah, BP is the fourth largest, uh, most profitable company in the world. So, yeah, they're not... They've been allowed to go take our natural resources 30 miles off the coast and sell it back to us at $70 a barrel, okay? You understand what I'm saying? They make $69 million a day. If they blow oil in the gulf, as they're doing with the BP oil spill, they need to know that there's a possibility if they go to jail if they have not followed the rules. And the other crew that need to be read the same 
uh, the Riot Act. is those uh, regulators who took their money, who went to uh, a games with them. Uh, and, well, and, you know, and, the, the MMS, the Minerals Management Service, uh, it's beyond me, uh, first off, that those people aren't in jail, and second, that how in the world can you be a federal government employee, be a leader, a leader and an official for MMS, and you have the opportunity to decline to talk to Congress about what you did to make this possible? How, how is that even possible? And I think that...